All right, 99 Dodge here again. I recently did a conversion on my fuel filter canister. This is the old fuel filter canister that came with this Dodge. 1999 has the uh, see the fuel inlet, fuel outlet, two test ports, inlet and outlet. I um, this is the uh, here's your water and fuel sensor, and uh, here's your fuel heater. I converted to the 2000 through 2002 style. Uh, you can kind of see it there. There we go. The drop-in fuel filter, uh, removable top canister, uh, a lot easier to do. Uh, you can see down there my fuel pressure gauge. Uh, I bought one of those 90-degree manual bent tubing from uh, Vulcan Performance with the uh, test port drilled into it. See the fuel line coming up? I got another test port to, to help bleed the system. I decided to do a quick connect on the VP. I know I talked about not liking the quick connect in previous videos, but uh, it just makes it easier on the VP in case if I ever need to remove it and install a new one. It just makes it easier to disconnect the system. So, um, but anyways, uh, one of the things I had to do for this conversion uh, is get new wires hookups for the fuel heater and can't really see it but the water and fuel sensor. Uh, I had to cut the wire here I cut the heater here get new wiring connectors from uh, Cummins up north in OKC uh, to do the conversion. Everything works uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We talk about the differences in fuel filters. Alright this is the stock what I used to use one nine FS one nine five nine eight filter according to fleet guard is a 10 micron water fuel water separator this flows 23 gallons an hour okay 23 gallons an hour doesn't flow very much um, it's also very very restrictive that's why I went with this this is the FS one nine eight five five uh, from my model year over 2003-2002 model. This is also a 10 micron but this flows 60 gallons an hour. This filter from Fleet Guard flows 60 gallons an hour. It's actually like 559.8 something but rounded up it flows 60 gallons an hour. So that's a lot more than this filter. A lot less restrictive. Um, I can also upgrade to an FS I think 19 eight five six which is a seven micron filter uh, which I plan to do uh, maybe fairly soon uh, but I just want to talk about the differences in fuel filters so fuel it's a lot less restrictive with this canister versus the old the old canister so uh, hope that helps out those who ever want to do the conversion conversion is pretty easy you just simply unbolt the two bolts on top remove this Cut the cut the fuel heater, water and fuel sensor. You just buy the new connectors, and as a matter of fact, you can buy this whole setup from Cummins. I think, I think the part number is FS19586. It costs $121 from Cummins. Um, depending on what state you're in, it may be a little bit more. But here in OKC, it Cummins uh, Cummins up north was uh, $121. It comes with the filter inside, uh, with the added. I had to get the the plugins for the heater and the water and fuel sensor, so that was like another ten bucks per connector, maybe that. I mean, five bucks, something like that. I don't remember. Um, so it wasn't very much total cost. I mean, maybe 170, 180 dollars total to install everything. So that includes the new fittings that I had to get uh, to do the to do the install. So very easy, very simple. Hope that helps out anyone who plans to do it to their truck in the future. Bye-bye.